Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to make another resin board using some of the florals from the Brittany Bundle with Gracefully Created coming very soon. I did a tutorial on this beautiful tumbler using some of the florals from this bundle as well, but I didn't have the vinyls at that time. I have the full bundle and I'm so excited to show you this one. I say it with everyone. I'm obsessed with this. I know that I'm biased, <laughs> but everything coordinates so beautifully even though it's a fall and a halloween combination bundle we have all fall florals but those can be used in halloween designs as i did on the tumbler and these cute vinyls all have that pretty orange color in them we have some highland cows florals and some with little spider webs in them love it Typically, these bundles released on or around the first of every month, but since there's a lot going on from different companies and at Gracefully Created on August 1st, this one is going to release on August 15th at gracefullycreatedcc.com. And of course, you can use BBB10 to save 10% off of that bundle. I'll have all those details and the site listed down below. And of course, you can become part of Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr Art Group as well as Gracefully Created Group if you want real-time, up-to-date notifications on when that drops. I grabbed this black board from Hobby Lobby on clearance. They are already putting out fall and Christmas stuff for this year, so they are clearancing out all of their spring shop items. You can find these boards just about anywhere, especially the discount stores, Hobby Lobby, and Target are my favorite places. But I grabbed this one because it was black. I did not think about having to sand the glitter down on the edges, so to be honest, it really doesn't matter what color it is because I ended up going over it with spray paint. We'll get to that in a bit, but do keep that in mind whenever you're shopping around for a board or a tray for yourself. It really doesn't matter what color it is because you can fix that. So I mixed up probably 200 milliliters of a little extra incorporated turbo epoxy. This is a fast set that can be mixed in large quantities without flash curing or setting up too quickly on you. I was working on two different boards. Hint, hint, we got another one coming for a tutorial. And then I mixed Pumpkin Patch from PDB Creative Studio straight into the epoxy. Just spread that all over the board and then I'm going to grab a glove and push that out so it's even. To make it a little easier to spread around, I'm going to use my heat gun and just really slightly heat that up so it's a little easier to move around and get close to those edges as I can. You definitely do not want to heat too much and if I were to have used more epoxy, it would have been easier to get that coat spread all around the board without having to heat it. But I like thin coats of epoxy and I definitely don't want too much on this first layer because I don't want to add to the weight of this board. Once I have all that spread out, I'm gonna go in with my torch, pop any of those micro bubbles, and then I'm gonna set a clean box on top of this so it can prevent any debris from flying onto my tray. That glitter is gonna settle down into the epoxy. So for the most part, it will be pretty smooth once it cures, but we will have to go around the edges and lightly over top 
and that is where I ended up scuffing up some of that black. To create my stencils, I wanted to get my measurements correct as well as just make one whole stencil instead of placing them one by one on my board. So I measured the circle portion of the board. I'm not too concerned about getting the peekaboo effect up on the handle because I did plan on putting a, a bow on it. So I measured the circle portion of my board, created a circle that was about 11 and a half inches, and then I just placed all of my sunflower stencils all around on the board until I was happy with that placement. Once I was happy with my placement, I went over to the right column and selected each of those sunflower stencils individually using the control select button. And then I welded them together so they are one. You have to do this in order to slice, which is the very next step. So once we have these welded together, we're going to highlight both the welded stencils and the circle, select slice and that is going to cut our circle of sunflower stencils. I'll just delete all the extras and send that over to the cutting mat. We're gonna use a temporary vinyl for this. It does have some fine lines, so it doesn't quite cut perfect on a stencil vinyl. So I am going to use a temporary vinyl to cut out my sunflower stencils. Once they're cut out, I'm going to weed them, then we will transfer, transfer them onto our board with one full sheet. Once I had my transfer tape on here, I did cut as close as I could to those flowers. I probably should have used a different color temporary vinyl than white so I could see it a little better, and y'all too. But I cut it as close as I could to my stencils so I can see the outer edge for placement on my board. Before we're going to transfer these, I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the backing so it's a lot easier to just press them down onto the board. I'll get everything lined up the way I want, press that little exposed piece we just trimmed off down, and then use the squeegee tool to press the stencils down as we're removing the backing. remove the transfer tape, and then it's time to spray paint. So I intended on actually putting this back black since that's what I originally wanted, but Walmart was out of my favorite color shot spray paint in matte black. So I went with Smolder, which is a metallic 
black and it looked incredible. So I'm really glad they were out of my original idea because Smolder is beautiful. Once our spray paint was completely dry, I removed all of that temporary vinyl to reveal our peekaboo. You always want a glossy surface to add on any decals that have a clear portion in behind them. Although the decals are printed over top of white ink, the border around them is still clear. So you need a layer of epoxy in between your spray paint and your decals so that clear border around your decals does not reflect the matte surface or sanded surface underneath. I've already trimmed out all of my decals and arranged them on my board in the way that I want them. Once you have done this, then you can lift them up in that place, trim off a little bit of that back, and use the hinge method to apply them. Once they're all down, I am going to squeegee them down really well and then go over or around the edges with my craft knife so that I can trim off all of that excess just a hair away from the edge of the board so my epoxy will go over the edge of the flowers and make them secure. Now I do end up adding a couple of those florals around the top handle here in just a minute, but before I do that, I'm going to press down all of these decals really well. Instead of using my hand or trying to put a glove on and pressing them down, I'm using a clean cloth. That fabric softener has not been used on, so I can rub these decals down a little better. 
This is going to prevent fingerprints and the weird texture of a glove and trying to press the decals down just didn't work for me last time. A little extra ink epoxy is super shiny when it's cured, so I don't want to put any fingerprints on this dark surface. After I finally finished adding all of those decals, it's time for our final layer of epoxy. I either do two thin coats if I'm adding in some sort of mica or pigment into my final coats. I'll do a thin coat for that and then another thin final coat. For this one, we're not adding anything in, so I'm going to do one pretty generous coat, spread that all around the board, and then we will work on the edges. I'm going to zoom in here in just a minute because lots of you have asked, how do you keep epoxy from going over the edge? And I always say, go to the edge, but not over it. I know that really don't help. It's like, duh. <laughs> so I'm sorry, y'all. I don't, I don't have another way to explain it. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see how I bubble that epoxy up at the tip of my finger and brush it up against the side of the board. All right, I'm gonna slow it down here so you can see this in real time and how much time I do take to get it really close to the edge. I'm taking some epoxy in front of my finger and just pushing that to the edge. If you have any epoxy that goes over immediately, wipe that off with either a baby wipe, some sort of cloth that doesn't have fiber on it that will get into your epoxy or a clean glove. That's going to stop it from going over the edge and then once you have it all the way to, you just kind of brush it back a little bit to get rid of that big bevel. Once we finished the epoxy, I'm running over with my torch to help level out that epoxy and pop all of those micro bubbles. You want to sit it to the side and cover it up with something that's going to prevent any debris from flying onto that final coat and it'll come out beautifully smooth. I am going to add a flower and a little bow and some florals to this. 
I'm still undecided if I like it best with or without. So let me know down in the comments what you think. All of this is from Hobby Lobby and I feel like it would have been perfect if the flower may have been an inch smaller around. It wouldn't have taken over the top so much, but I, I just love how much the color matches. They look so beautiful together. So I sort of just put all the pieces together and saw how I wanted them to lay out. Grabbed my hot glue gun and I'm going to create my bow, go ahead and tie that up with the little florals on there. And then we will be hot gluing our flower to our bow. And see, it just matches so good. I don't know if I love the big flower on there or if I don't. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I hope y'all have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. All materials I have used will be listed in the description with some coupon codes. And don't forget, this bundle is dropping at gracefullycreatedccd.com on August 15th. I will have all other details listed below for you with that link. That's all for today. Thank you all so much and we will see you next time.